Thank you, John. Well, these are the maps Ohio's redistricting commission approved last night in a four to three vote. It is the fourth attempt at creating maps that are not gerrymandered in Republicans' favor. Whether these maps do that remains to be seen. Luke Jones is here to break down where things go from here. Luke. Yeah, and we have no idea when the Supreme Court will make their decision. Some observers say it could be weeks. But because these maps closely resemble another set of maps the courts already rejected, it's likely these maps will be rejected as well. All day Monday, two independent map makers work to redraw Ohio's House and Senate districts. But with less than two hours to go before the Ohio Supreme Court's midnight deadline, the Ohio Redistricting Commission changed course and went with these maps, drawn up by staff of Republican Commission members. Their actions were clearly contemptible. Uh, their actions were clearly in defiance of the Ohio Supreme Court and the Ohio Constitution. The Constitution was amended in 2018 to outlaw maps with an unfair partisan lean. These maps are based on ones the Ohio Supreme Court has already rejected for giving too great an advantage to Republicans. I do believe that these maps are contemptuous of the voters, and it's likely that the Ohio Supreme Court will have a contempt hearing. As for those independent map makers, they were each paid $450 an hour for their work, but now neither of their maps will be used. I think a good argument could be made that they were hired for show because their work was thrown out before it was even turned in. Republicans say the approved House map gives them just a nine-point advantage over Democrats, a smaller lead than with previous maps. But UC political science professor David Niven says those figures are misleading. The districts that are drawn for Republicans are essentially unlosable. The Democratic seats, on the other hand, about half of them are drawn such that they could go either way. Now the League of Women Voters succeeded in getting another set of maps quashed. It was that same set that these maps are based on. They're currently weighing their options, but they haven't ruled out filing a lawsuit against these maps. Kyle Paula, back mm. to you. Thank you, Luke. The state Supreme Court has rejected all three sets of maps put forward so far.